Hey there guys and gals, it is F1 Backwards here with another 100% achievement slash trophy guide and we are going to smash through the brilliant Telltale slash now Skybound Games walk The Walking Dead the final season getting all the miscellaneous achievements and all collectibles in chronological order so you do not miss a thing Now be warned there's quite a bit of back and forth with having a copy and back up your save to go down a different alternative path for different achievements later on but again we'll come to that a bit later and also, just as an added thing, I've put descriptions of everything we will be doing in the top left corner there so it can all be enjoyed. So, let us begin, and as you can see then we'll be getting our first collectible. This is basically the start of the game, and we will be getting a deer skull by the train station. Now, a little bit later on, you'll be into the mansion where a bunch of kids are, and as you see the staircase right in front of you, there's a bunch of plastic flowers just behind there. So go ahead and grab those. These look nice. Even if they're fake. So another little bit later on, just after you find the plastic flowers, you'll come to this room where AJ and Lewis are. A little bit of dialogue will happen. As long as you pick the dialogue option, Tickle Him, you will unlock the achievement called Tickle Monster. Although if the monsters in The Walking Dead were all Tickle Monsters, this would be a lot funner. I'm okay. And you know what you are? What? Ticklish. <laughs> but, AJ, listen to me. That girl out there says you bit her. Is that true? I'm sure she didn't mean to scare you. Now the school room will be attacked by quite a few walkers and it's your job to get rid of them. Now instead of pressing Y to kill them, just lure them into these trees with the ropes on them. If they do get too close, just press B to stun them. And as soon as a walker is in range, press A to cut the rope and it will activate the trap, killing the walker. And you have to do this with four different traps. Although I suppose you can't really use an already cut one, so yeah, that kind of makes sense. So just lure them in, press A to cut rope when they are in, and like I said, press B if they do get too close. Hell of an ending on that nothing wasted achievement there. <laughs> so then, a little bit later on once again then, once we are outside of the school, turn directly to the right from where AJ was standing in front of the fountain, go behind this little wall here, down the end is another collectible, three out of six for real flowers. Now this is kind of a long-winded achievement, so again, where AJ and the fountain was, just go around and talk to all of the kids. It doesn't matter what dialogue options you choose, you can be a dick or you can hey. be nice. As long as you talk to hey. all of the kids, yeah. you'll unlock the achievement. Obviously, I'm leaving the entirety of the achievement in here, so you don't have to worry about any of the video or anything like skipping or anything like that. Wanna see something cool? I wanna see. Yeah. Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Fuck up monsters, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that little dude said fuck. Mm, yes. Red hey, guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place and he's grumpy for a week. 
You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm. Like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. <sighs> you seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? So it was just sitting there. AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. I gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know... Bye. I'm not ready. Not yet. Okay, let's talk to someone else. There's that girl I bet. Yeah, wanna talk to her? You mean, say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary, and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... Tell her why you did it. Because of my... thing? Yep. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Just be honest. Yes? I'm sorry I bit you sometimes. When I get scared, I do that, but I don't mean to. I just... I just get scared, and I'm sorry, and I hope your finger is okay. Oh, Shug, it's all right. We can all get a little crazy when we get scared. Thank you for your honesty, and your apology. I did it! You sure did. Hey guys. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe? Yeah, I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Thank you. Clem? Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlin. Okay. So I'm pretty sure this next collectible then is quite unmissable as you can choose any dialogue option. It was believed 
before you could just say you can keep it if you like but if you want to keep your relationship strong with 10 and violet okay, you can Adam choose Jr. anyone you want Ed. and okay. you will get the collectible anyway for me for the wall to make our home look nice that's a good idea aj how about here So now then, that is Act 1 done. Now this bit is very important. This is the first time we'll have to back up our save. So when you're in the main menu then, if you go down to settings, and there'll be an option there called save files, right at the top. And it's easy enough to do, you just press X to copy your first save, and then go down to save 2, save 3, whatever, I just do them all. But as long as you've got it all copied, we will be able to come back to it later on because in Act 2 we've got to down, go down two different routes, one fishing and one hunting because there are a few achievements tied to them. So now at Act 2 then, the first bit, we will be um, basically petting Rosie. So what you'll have to do is once the dialogue option comes up, choose I trust you and this will unlock the achievement. Good girl. Rosie. <sighs> okay. I guess. Get down at her level. Better get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. So lie down, Rosie. <laughs> That's so cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog, back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, he bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. So then, just to let you know, this collectible, the cat skull, you can get it if you go either fishing or hunting. So there's no way you can miss this collectible just in case you want to go hunting first. But I just choose fishing first because well, why not, innit? So press X when the dialogue option comes up and we will be at the fishing shack. Once we're at the shack then, turn directly around and on the mantelpiece just above the fire there, that is where you'll find the cat skull. Edgy. Directly from that cat skull then, go down the bottom of the shack where AJ is, and again this is pretty much unskippable, you can choose any dialogue option you want, and he basically will point the graffiti out anyway. So that's lost love, achievement unlocked. exactly. Now this one can be a bit of a pain, um, you'll have to catch three fish without missing, so you'll have to be quite quick. When the reticle turns red, that's when you press the right trigger. But obviously take your time, there's no need to rush, just as long as you're confident. Obviously it goes in stages, so the third fish will be a bit fast. So if that happens, just immediately quit out, go back into it, you'll have to go through another couple of minutes worth of dialogue. Unfortunately, as the checkpoints are brilliant in this game, but uh, yeah, just take your time. As soon as you see the red, okay. then smash it. Oh, by now, I understand. There are people I still miss too. It never really gets easier. Yeah, it really doesn't. together. She definitely thinks you hate her.
Looks like they wisened up. Maybe Brody had better luck with the traps. I got one! Clem, I got one! <laughs> Good job. Now after all the fishing and everything is done and you're back at the school all chilled out, we will be getting our last collectible of the episode. Make sure to choose the dialogue show Count Me In and that will get the 6 out of 6 collectible and another achievement done. If you don't want it then, you know, you've just broken a little kid's heart. So congratulations, you're a monster yourself. Okay. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. So then in each of the episodes, you will get an achievement, of course, for collecting all the collectibles and That's placing cool. all the collectibles oh, right? in your room. That's so really cool. make sure to not leave via the door or by talking to AJ. Just make sure to place all the collectibles, get the achievement first. And then you can do what you want. I like the other one more. Why is that? It's scarier. That makes it cooler. There. You have to water flowers. Not these. They're fake. So they never die? Never. Well, lucky flowers. But they're not as pretty. There. That's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good, too. Oh, I know. Those don't look like the other ones. Because these are real flowers. The kind that need water? Bingo. Make sure to give them some. I know. Don't forget. I won't. Good. I don't want them to die. Okay, so once you're done with that then, now we can quit out, go back to the main menu and go and play your other copied backup saved game to go back to the start of Act 2. So, like I said, you can rename it if you want, if it makes it easier for you, but um, yeah, so as long as we, as long as you do that, we can go back to the start of Act 2 and this time we'll be going down the hunting route where we will be getting yet another couple of achievements. Again, sadly, due to the nature of the checkpoints in the game, you'll have to go through a lot of dialogue at this point. Um, but as long as you just go hunting, this time with Louis and Asim, you should be now good to go. So, once you get back to this point again, you will have a choice to either help Louis or help Asim. Now, what we'll need to do is go back and back up and copy our save once again which by this point got a little bit tedious if I'm being honest but there we go the things you do for achievements eh? the things you do for achievements so go ahead go and do that again then back up and copy your save and we will go and help Lewis first Want to take a swing? It won't bite. So with this one, you need to hit the swinging walker in the head three times without missing. Now, of course, he's got a big, fat, chunky head, so you shouldn't have too much of an issue. It's a bit easier than the fishing spear one that we did a little bit earlier on. But again, if you do manage to miss, again, immediately quit out of the main menu, and it shouldn't be too far to get to this point again. That's right, team fun. And your membership has just been accepted. Now, for our first order of business, a little batting practice. <laughs> Woo! 
if the Olympics were still a thing, you'd get a silver, no question. A silver, huh? Well, I mean, that could have been a lucky shot. Alright! Now you just went and earned yourself a gold. Damn. All right, you gotta make this one count. Come on, Clem. Home run! All right, all right. So now go ahead, reload your other save that you've done and uh, the backup save, sorry, and this time we'll be going to Asim. And what we need to do then, we need to shoot two rabbits without missing a shot. Now, a lot of people did seem to struggle with this first, but what i done to, he um, to help myself and what i done to make it a lot easier was the video guide that I used, I watched it a good few times. The rabbits don't change direction or anything, so I watched the video quite a few times to sort of, sort of memorize where they were going and how fast and slow they were going. So it might be worth just having a quick look through this, seeing where the rabbits go and what they do first, and then giving it a go yourself. You weren't lying. You're a damn good shot. Gonna need a few more like this if we're hoping to eat, though. I saw some others run this way. So there we have it then. Again, if you do miss immediately, quit out as you've done before and just reload and you should be okay. But anyway, that's it. That's all of the achievements and collectibles done. So thanks very much for watching, guys and gals. Hope this video has helped and I shall see you in the next one.